Tristan, I wonder if I can bring up the things happening at the World Cup and your take on it. I feel that the West have made football political nowadays. I love you guys. My opinion on it is actually very simple. People, when they come to countries, and I will say the same about the United Kingdom and the United States or any country in the world, need to respect the country's uh, culture, the country's principles, the country's laws. If you go to Singapore, you're not allowed to have chewing gum, for example. Chewing gum is illegal. They don't like the way it sticks to the streets. It makes garbage cleanup more difficult. They've made chewing gum illegal. Now, I can say, oh, well, you know, we chew gum in my country. I'm going to go over to Singapore and chew gum. Good. I hope they throw me in jail. And I hope they throw any people like that in jail who are openly disrespecting the laws and rules of a country. The West, you have to understand, is not a moral superpower. They are not the kings of morality who set in stone the laws of the universe and tell every single country, you are immoral, you are not immoral, you are just, you are unjust. The, the crimes that the West commits from the proxy wars even being fought right now in certain countries that I won't mention for the sake of, <laughs> of not bringing that topic up, um, to the, the open invasions and, and, and murder and open genocide of, of tens of thousands of people, the crimes that the West commits um, certainly dis, uh, disqualify it from being the moral high ground of the world. So when English people, German people, and American people try to get high and mighty on a place like Qatar and say, oh, well, you know, I'm not allowed to wear rainbow flag t-shirts and rainbow flag armbands and rainbow colored hair and rainbow flag pants. I'm not allowed to do that. Why aren't I allowed to do, do that in Qatar? Why can't I come to your football stadiums and wear all these rainbow colored flags? The thing is about this, in the Middle East, privacy is very, very respected. There are lots of gay people who live in Dubai. There's lots of gay people who live all throughout the Middle East and they go to their houses behind their closed doors and their business is their business. And uh, people have been living like this for a very long time. I believe that if you are trying to wear a rainbow t-shirt to a Qatari stadium, you are openly provoking the Qatari people. And the Qatari people have the right to tell you to go home and to change your t-shirt because if all you have is rainbow t-shirts, if every day you wear rainbow t-shirts, if you have a rainbow, if your face is tattooed with a rainbow and you got that rainbow tattoo 30 years ago because you like the story of Noah's Ark and the rainbow being a symbol of God's covenant with man, I'm sure, I'm sure they'd be more accepting. If rainbow flag colored t-shirts were all that the British wore or all that the Germans wore, if it was the fashion in England and Germany to wear these things, but it's not. Nobody ever wears these things. So when you're doing it at their stadiums and trying to get into their stadiums and get to their football games and get seen on TV with your rainbow colored flag, it's a virtue signal in the most um, ugly and, and promiscuous and exorbitant way. You, you should not be doing that to the Qatari people. And you are an idiot for putting them in the position for having to tell you to go home and change your shirt. So I believe that it is open provocation on the culture of, of Qatar. I believe that if you have the intention of coming to Qatar and trying to virtue signal in this way, don't. You know, stay at home, watch the football games at home, wear your rainbow t-shirt at home. Uh, it's no problem. I don't understand why you try to do this to another country and another country's culture. In exactly the same way that English people get mad when, um, when protesters who were against the British Armed Forces some years ago were setting fire to poppies in the, in the city center. If you buy a poppy at, in the city center, the, the World War I uh, memorial uh, decoration, the small red flower, for those of you who don't know what that is, and you go home and light it on fire, no one's going to arrest you and no one's going to care. But when you openly provoke uh, the English people in that way, they have the right to, to protest and get mad at you and throw you in jail. But the English people don't do that, of course, because uh, England's too soft. But yeah, don't go to Qatar and provoke them. And, and, and don't you know think that your countries are the arbitrators of what is moral and what is not because the behavior of the western countries especially throughout the last 40 or 50 years has been some of the most disgusting and some of the most ir immoral behavior anywhere on the face of the planet so these people aren't the boss so take the t-shirt off and go home